R.I.P. Rip. Goku's balls. I cannot believe they animated that with one frame of two little circular objects blowing up in his crotch. Hey, what are you? My buddy and I growing up always had some inside jokes from this one and it's always better than I give it credit for. I was never as into the androids, I didn't think I liked it as much, but honestly what could have been an average run of the mill forgettable filler film isn't. It's just a solid, hilarious, fun action DBZ rom. You get some slice of life moments which is rare, an abundance of witty humor, and a healthy portion of fighting that's done well. It's nice to see the Z fighters actually overpower most of the bad guys for once. That is until the third act where it goes back into anime cliche mode. At least it's built up to and doesn't overstay its welcome. And Super Android 13 himself had a lot of potential and you'll hear me say this a lot that they kind of wasted probably because of the runtime. They could have done more with the concept because it's fascinating. Another one is, along those same lines, is the absolutely bonkers spirit bomb absorption done like in the Budokai 3 video game that Goku's barely able to contain as his body actually becomes a bomb. He one-shots 13 and then the energy just goes away. It's visually stunning, epic in the moment, still pretty cool, but fairly anticlimactic when it's all said and done. Like really, that's it? The Dr. Zero computer is another throwaway plot device that could have been expanded upon. I'm assuming, considering the numbers of the androids, that it just had old incomplete schematics to build these androids? What made them unique? Why are they all based on some kind of racial stereotype, which is a little problematic? A longer runtime could have fleshed out what was a pretty interesting idea. And are we to assume the computer won't ever act again, or did it die? I don't remember, which tells you it's a little forgettable, and stuff like this is where I get a little frustrated. I randomly want to note that the transfer on this Blu-ray of mine looked incredible. Animation is beautiful, seemed like they stepped it up a notch. I just hate that these are all cropped, not the original ratio, but they still look great. Canon-wise, I actually feel like this one's fairly easy. It's either the same day or the day after Goku wakes up from the heart disease. Yeah, there are some lines about Goku not knowing Jiro is dead, but if he just woke up, pretty easy to assume he isn't caught up yet or forgot, because it's Goku. How can you not like this when there's a line from Android 13 to Trunks saying, don't you lecture me with your $30 haircut? <laughs> But seriously, it's a great time and one of the funniest DBZ movies and I'm gonna bump up my rating a little bit. Four out of five stars. It's memorably forgettable or forgettably memorable, however you want to look at that. And again, the Team Four Star Bridge version of this is so funny, freaking hilarious. Thanks for watching all these so far. We're gonna keep getting into these. I'm gonna keep trying the one per day uh, schedule, releasing with the new one. We'll cover the live action movies and even one of the fan films. So like, subscribe, share, comment. What is your favorite DBZ movie? And uh, yeah, as you're thinking about it, remember to always look for the good.